What is up guys, this is Kiran here. Welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. This is Pixel Extended R, which means Pixel Extended based on Android version 11, which right now I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro. It's available for Redmi Note 9S, Note 9 Pro, Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro, which means it's a mere tool build, so it can be installed on all of these things, all of these devices. If you have any of these devices, you can install this build without any issues. I'm using it from some time, it's quite good, and you'll get whole feel of a using a pixel device especially with this kind of look on redmi note 9 pro it looks great so if you want to install this build you can simply install with a custom recovery and which custom recovery you should use i recommend you orange fox custom recovery for all these things and if you have orange fox custom recovery just install this build and the link for this build is in the description and it comes with the pixel apps which means it comes with the google apps pre-installed you don't need to install google apps on your own just need one zip file and install flash done let's find out which other things you get here Guys, talking about the things which you get here, Pixel Extended, which is based on Android version 11, Extended version 2.1 with the latest November security patch, which I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8. It's working quite great. The wallpaper seems nice. It's not the default wallpaper, of course. You can upgrade your wallpapers like from the third party apps if you want to. Talking about the things you get here, as I already told you that this comes with the Google Apps pre-installed and also comes with the Pixel Launcher. So has a screenshot and select option available which is quite great and you can use these kind of things and I personally use these kind of things also has the Google feed option available which was expected too. going for the things the quick settings panel is look like same here you can edit the tiles if you want to by going here and if you click here it won't get any option to customize your quick settings tiles and rows columns this is this was expected should be available because this might be available like two by three option which is available in android version 11 but here we don't get any option to customize these kind of things but yes it's a pixel room so which has some little bit of customizations not major customizations talking about the performance it's great it's honestly great didn't got any single lag yet past using from past 24 to 48 hours almost and it's quite stable even I know the battery backup, the performance is good though and going about the things which we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, I'm using it with the connected with my Mi Band 4 and it's working fine here. Do not disturb more torch, auto rotate, battery saver, mobile data, everything seems nice here. Even use the hotspot also and going for the things, Wi-Fi hotspot working at the same time. So almost everything seems nice here. Even you can see from my status bar, I have the Wi-Fi calling option available which means Wi-Fi calling is working too. So almost all the major things are working fine here. There's no reason to not use this room. Going for the things, let me tell you one more thing. I'm using the latest Magic Suite 21.1. So if you're waiting for the banking apps to work, unfortunately, there's not a good news for you if you check out the safety net status. In my case, safety net status is not passed. And if I go for the device play protect certification, that's also not good too. By going to settings, if I go, sorry for that, if I go to the settings option here like this, sorry once again, if I go for the settings option and here you can see device is not certified. I'm not able to use my banking apps unfortunately but that is not the big issue for me. I use Paytm as if you saw my previous videos. I prefer to use Paytm and it's working without these kind of root access kind of things. It's working fine here. Going for the things which we get here as it's a pixel extended build as the pixel feel all the pixel apps are available it's not in on the base of AOSP and AOSP apps you can also use the Gcam I'm using this Gcam option which is the MGC as I always use almost every time so you can use this Gcam which includes the HDR plus option also AI AWB option is available too portrait etc everything seems working here didn't got any major bugs, might be some bugs here and there like the lenses might work for you or might not work for you. Not sure about that but it should work for you too. Going for the things in settings, let's find out if we have some features or not. First of all, let's talk about the battery backup. How's the battery backup going on in this build? And if you talk about the battery backup, you can see 8 hours and 55 minutes which means almost 9 hours of screen on time and let me show you my screen usage. 
This one is the by battery graph. It's from 100% to 16% with almost nine hours of screen on time. So you can say it might go up to 10 hours of screen on time. I'm not saying it's bad, but honestly, this should be quite good in the Android 10 builds. Yes, and if you're using Android Vision 10 build, you'll see more SOT than this one. But yes, it's in Android 11. If you compare it with other Android 11 based builds, I think this is quite good too approximately of 10 hours of screen on time it's good and if you talk about my battery stats you have saw already things which you get here almost all the android 11 features like the notification history apps and notifications and also includes the face lock just didn't include it the app lock which i was looking for but it's not available that's not a big deal for me other things quite same Talking about the customizations, if you go for the pixel, then these are some customization features where we have vibration related customizations, some a little bit of things more, lock screen miscellaneous and lock screen security. This one is the thing which includes the recognizing animation effect, FOD recognizing animation. Don't worry, it's not for Redmi Note 9 users because this does not include the in-screen fingerprint. So that's why it's not for our device. Volti and Wi-Fi icon customizations are available. You can see my Wi-Fi icon is on the stage it is where you can customize this too status bar gestures quick settings and power menu related customizations doesn't include any much customization these are all the things about this custom room if you want to install this the link for this one is in the description this is all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video if you have any queries you can comment below and thanks for watching goodbye